This is Logan. His story is unlike anyone else's. As you can see, he has a gift. Some would call him many other names, but he is the Wolverine. In this short documentary, we want to give the audience an insight on his character and show how he fits the criteria for intermittent explosive disorder. Uh, as directors, we wanted to portray how his past and the environment around him transformed him into the man seeking revenge on those who disrupted his life. This movie was based around how Logan turned into the Wolverine. We will show you a short clip that demonstrates young Logan after he has killed his father. This shows where we start to see some of the symptoms related to intermittent explosive disorder. There are things you don't understand. Don't. I need him to know. Please don't. No more lies. Explosive disorder falls in the category of impulse control disorders. IED is characterized by failure to resist aggressive impulses and it results in serious assaults or property destruction. There are certain symptoms to look for in those who are diagnosed with IED. We try to portray this as much as possible in the movies. The degree of aggressiveness expressed during the episode is grossly out of proportion to any precipitating psychosocial stressors. This next video will show Wolverine at the beginning of his transformation. We're brothers, Jim. Body temperature 108 rising. Why is he thrashing like that? Why isn't he sedated? He feels pain, just like the rest of us. But anesthesia won't work on him. That's why he had to volunteer. Heart rate 190. 195. Will he survive this? I don't know. 200. His son. Heart rate well beyond maximum. Blood pressure. 260 over 180 and rising. He can make it. He can make it. Take out!
movie, we tried to show the audience how Wolverine became this character. We peeled back layers upon layers to portray his deep emotions. Oftentimes, we see Logan fall into explosive episodes. IED is commonly associated with affective symptoms such as irritability or rage, increased energy, and racing thoughts during the aggressive impulses and acts, and rapid onset of depressed mood and fatigue after the acts. The common cause of IED appears to be a combination of biological and environmental factors. DSM describes someone who has IED to experience extreme expressions of anger, often to the point of uncontrollable rage. These episodes are usually largely disproportionate to the situation at hand. Further, impulse aggression is unpremeditated and is defined by disproportionate reaction to provocation, real or perceived. Some individuals have reported effective changes prior to an outburst. Most people with this disorder grew up in families where explosive behavior, verbal, and physical abuse were common. The beginning video that we showed in the movie really helps us to portray this image. We chose to start filming him as a little boy because he goes through a period of problems at home with, which results in the death of his father. Further, being exposed to this type of violence at any early age makes it more likely for these children to exhibit the same traits. Next, we will show another clip from the movie in which the Wolverine is fighting his brother. Notice that as much as they are family, they fight to the death. There are common treatments for IED which include psychotherapy, whether group or individual setting. Cognitive behavioral therapy is also commonly used. Lastly, there are forms of medications that could be used that are effective. We had a lot of fun filming this movie. We hope that we've been able to provide the audience with an insight on Logan's character. Overall, we really strive to create the image that Logan has this disorder. By starting from the very beginning of his time, we've been able to shape and form this extraordinary character into a machine. Lastly, we want to show you a short clip of the Wolverine at his best. Let's go! 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 Let's go!